oh, register page. And right now, what we are doing is the hard coding, right? This is called hard coding. And hard coding is not good because if you want to change the data uh, like uh, a lot, then you will have to change it everywhere, like a lot of places, and that's not good, right? And for that purpose, we will use a utility called Apache POA. And what is Apache POA? Apache POA is a jar file or utility file that is capable of interacting with Microsoft Office documents, including Word, uh, Excel, in both format, XLS and XLSX. And my data pool will be in the XLS format or XLSX, whichever is the case may be. Okay, so what I'm going to do is instead of showing from you the whole utility from the beginning, I will take it, okay, it's because it takes a lot of time. I'll explain it, but there are a bunch of utils. And right now I'm gonna copy over this Excel utils. So, like I said, I will show you the utils on the on the need to know basis, not everything. That's not good because you will get confused again. Okay, so I just copied Excel utils. So let's see what it says. Okay, so since I copied, it's gonna throw all these errors because that's what it will do if you directly add something because of package declarations or import statements missing. Let's see what is missing. Okay, now what is missing is Apache POI is missing. Okay, so let's see if we have the Apache POI, otherwise we have to add it. So where do we add jars? Right here. So last time I showed you, we have added only basic jars, right? Now we need a jar which is capable of interacting with Microsoft Excel right now, and that is in org.apache.poi. And the import statement is added, but the main jar is missing. Okay, so that's why you're getting it. So let's download the jar. So this is how you download the jar. Okay, anytime you want to download, this is how you're going to download. So just watch carefully. I have already downloaded everything, but don't. Uh, uh, I will share you, but right now. So just go to Google and type download Apache UI jar. Okay, let's see what the results are. Okay. So first thing that comes as a hit should be your. If you get lucky, you will get it. So this is a non Maven thing. So Maven will I will show later. Maven you don't need to download. You just add the dependency to the palm file that is later. Okay. So the latest table release is this, and just go to the binary distribution. Okay. Source distribution will have only source files like Java files. We don't need the Java files. Okay. That's not mandatory. All we need is the class files. Okay. Class files are zip put together as a jar file. And because they are already compiled, you don't need to compile them. So just download this zip format because we are using Windows. This is for the Linux format, Linux operating system. Tar.zip. So let's download this guy. Okay. Okay, so go to download and it's not downloaded. Okay, so I have to still download this. Okay, now it is downloading. Okay, it takes 15 minutes.
all right so i already have the version which is downloaded so let's go to that i mean if your uh, uh, internet is faster you can immediately download it let's see okay so all the drivers are stored in c drivers place and these are basic drivers and the external third party drivers are stored in here so i will go and choose poi okay so all these are watch poi so i'll just copy over these may be the older version so the last time it was updated in 2000 that's fine so let's see any other POIs. okay so the reason i'm showing one by one is I, I can add all of this at once but let's not do that like i said on the need to know basis one two three four five six seven so once you unzip this you will get all of this okay so where i'm going to add this is the standard location libs right this is where we are adding all of this so i just copy paste but that's not all so all you have to do is just update your build path so go to build path this way are the properties both ways okay so now here i'm going to add all the external jars that i just dumped okay so what are those POIs? by six okay so now let's see if these errors will go away yes they do because they got the class files okay so they got whatever they want without those jars you cannot import that's okay now i will explain you quickly because uh, uh, if i write the code from the sketch it will take a lot of time and utils are supposed to be for usage purpose not for writing purpose okay so the function name is get test data xls okay so then this function i wrote in such a way that it takes one two three four parameters okay one is file path where you put the data pool file and what is the sheet name okay sheet name i'll show you and the header row header row is where you mention all the first name last name things and the test case row number like first test case one or you can also use test case name and i am returning my written uh, functions written type is hash map of string string type why i am using this is i will be having two values uh, every time key and value pair right one is the first name then first name actual first name jim last name then actual last name joe uh, or something like that okay so every time key and value pair so the best way to put is the hash map which is capable of holding two values string string the key and value so that would be written type okay so this actually i am using a bunch of classes from this apache poi uh, which basically uh, are capable of reading from the sheet hssf sheet class is ref uh, referring to the sheet the sheet i am using so let me actually open one of these so this is a sheet right so hssf sheet will use sheet one name and read the contents in what whatever the contents we will put in so if you want to add multiple sheets you can add this sheet two sheet three but let's stick to the one sheet first and hssf workbook so this is the workbook and i am going to add this row for the what is this uh, called header so my header first let's add first name and last name okay so for the timing just first name and last name will be sufficient and my test case one will be in the uh, test uh, row number two because this is a header that's reserved for header 
and the first name let's use john Doe. okay okay so here the first name is string and the actual first name john is the this string this guy key and value so every time it will hold first name john and last name do like that okay and the row this will uh, read both rows header row and tc row my header row is this one so i'll just put them in the board so that you know what okay and this is the actual test case data i mean if i have multiple test cases i'll be putting here okay and uh, i'll need to open the file input stream so the class is file input stream i'll just initialize with null in the uh, and wherever i stored this file i'll be just passing this to the file class okay so file as uh, uh, this thing i'll be calling the uh, constructor and it will take one string function string argument and that is a file path wherever i store for example if this is the path where i store this uh, i'll just pass, pass this path and i'll pass the whole file instance which takes the file path to the file input stream so that i'll be able to open it and read it okay then uh, once i open the file which is this file i should read the workbook file has a workbook work workbook has a sheet sheet has row row has cell okay that is the overall hierarchy in excel so that's uh, once i read this file okay so i'll pass this file to the workbook and uh, i'll create an instance of workbook as workbook itself then within the workbook there is a sheet this whole thing is a workbook and this is a sheet for example my test case in the sheet one let's say and i'll pass the sheet name and there is a function using the workbook instance i'll just call that sheet using the get sheet function okay and within the sheet there are rows correct the rows the sheet is a collection of rows and simply using get row function i will call the header because i have two rows every time one is a header one is a test case row. every time one is a header test case two row header test case three row like that okay so once i get the row uh, for both head uh, header row and tc row i'll store them in the header row tc row variables and all i simply have to do this just put them in the loop for loop or while loop so that it will go from starting point iteration one then set this as cells each row is a combination of cells and uh, for iterating over the cells i have the function called has next the cell iterator dot has next so this will repeatedly call all uh, go to each and every cell in a, a key and value pair uh, combination way and store all these values finally in this guy hash map okay so finally what i'll do is i will return this hash map as a row data so row data is my hash map of string string type which is initialized here so just like a string variable it is just think of it as a two string variables combined and this will be returned so now we have to under, uh, uh, know how do we use this okay so whether you understand this whatever i said that's not important but uh, what is important is how do you use this because the unless until you know how you don't know how, how to use this you can't use this okay so let's go ahead and use this so first and foremost i have to save this so let's save this in this uh, rc drive okay so let's put it in folder called data folder. okay so first uh, where i am uh, parameterizing is in register page so i'll come here and, uh, let's call this guy first okay so i want to read this data all the way till cell cell means the row for the first and second cell and this 
this guy so this is called uh, 1 1 1 2 and 2 1 2 2 okay so my function is in this utils isn't it zero one is it one one or zero uh, uh okay that's a good point yeah zero one i i think it starts from zero one let's see i even i don't remember where it starts from this is one two but uh yeah maybe it's zero one so this is the zero throw zero column this is the zero throw first column so this will be first row uh zeroth column and this is the first row first column right if you start from zero let's see okay so first and foremost i'm going to call this function and this is a static function so i can call using class name let's see let's have an r and a first so excel utils okay okay so the class name is excel utils let's call this excel utils and dot uh what is the function name is get test data xls okay so now first thing you have to pass is a file path and where is the file path we just stored it in this guy c drive data pool right so let's pass this so don't worry i'm going to put this in the constants uh, uh let's put it in constants right away okay so we'll put it in here that's easier so let's create a constant variable so this will be called data pool let's go path okay so what is the complete path that's not that's not it right it's called data pool see data pool and the file name so let's copy this okay so what is the error what is the mistake now we have to use the double slash okay okay so what we have to do is we have to pass this value to this page okay now tell me how do we pass this let's call the file uh, file path uh, yeah, yes, okay, so that's the first argument okay let me maximize it okay so now it is clearly visible so so we call the function from excel utils get as data xls first value is this guy and sheet name it is asking the sheet name so what is the sheet name name uh one thing sheet one i told you this is the hierarchy the whole file is called workbook okay workbook has sheets multiple sheets sheet one sheet two and i am using sheet one sheet one has rows first row is header second row is test data and this header headers or uh, test data has cells so that's the, that is to the individual cell that's the overall hierarchy okay so now this function takes sheet name which is whatever it so if you want to use appropriate sheet name you can use it let's call this data pool okay or uh, okay let's say this is about demo aut right so let's use the demo aut the project name and we will change the name name of book one dot xls x2 data pool xls okay or let's change the name right now okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save it as xls format 
and call this data pool. That way, it says it remember. Okay, so that resides in data pool perfect. Okay. okay, so this is called data pool XLS, and let's change the value here. Okay, so sheet name is this one. Let's copy. Uh, we can put sheet name uh, in constants or we can put right away because I just want to store the paths, file paths in the constant. So this should be okay. And header row number, okay. So header row number, somebody said it starts from zero. So even I don't I don't remember that it starts from, so let's experiment first. So it's an integer. So let's say uh, it starts from zero. Normally it should start from zero, but sometimes there are exceptions. Okay, test row number. If this starts from zero, obviously this should be one. For example, if my test case fails, I say I would uh, think this would be the first row and this would be the second row. So let's uh, test row number will be one. Okay. All right. So looks like it's going to throw exception. Let's just hover over it and yes at rows declaration or surround with a try cache block okay so since this is the register details i can i have both options so let's just add rows declaration simply okay so now i have called this and obviously this is going to return something and what is this this is going to return a hash map the hash map containing all this data not just one data the whole data first row and second row or if you have more test cases first row and third row like or zero row and second row okay so let's store this in hash map okay what is hash map type there are a bunch of different types like object string string object string string so this is a string string type Okay, so I'm gonna call this hash map val uh, variable name as row data, or you can call it uh, mm, test TC data. Okay, let's call it test case data also. Okay, so hash map belongs to Java. Just hover over it and import java.util and get done. Okay, now, all, so far what we have just done is we have just read the whole data pertaining to a single test case and if you have more very more columns it will read all the data but for, for the first time we'll just deal with these two guys and stored in this one and right now we have to pause this value here okay so now hot coding is removed and i want to pass the value directly from this spreadsheet okay now what is the data? Where is the data? Whole data is in this hash map. So I'm gonna call this data. This data. And I can I just want this data, not the whole data, because the just this box first first name box only needs a first name, right? And there is a function in hash map called get. Okay, so that will get me whatever I pass uh, uh, from the header, it will fetch me the related value if i pass this it will fetch me this this is called key and this is called value so that's why these two are called key and value pair these two exist in pair not individually so let's call this so the function is already i mean it's built in so i'm just going to call it tc data dot get there are other functions get put put all and everything so i'll uh, uh, explain about those later but for the timing uh, time being just understand that we need to call the data and this takes an object as an okay object is a broader uh, because everything is an object java and the that would return string so think of as this would take key value and return me key 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 uh, this would take a key and return me the value okay so key and value both are different so let's use this and just enter the key so for example in this case i'm interested in filling the first name right 
so my key would be this so i'm just going to copy all right and paste it here as a string because the object is string here the key is also string okay and the value it would return is john so when i call tc data dot get first name right this whole thing is gonna get me the actual value uh, this one okay so this whole thing is gonna get me john so when i execute this what it's gonna enter uh the first name john no no when when i execute this is gonna enter john here like here so okay second time listen carefully okay here what i'm doing i'm entering the last name section do correct what is this called now this is not hard coded anymore right this is called parameter yeah. Right. Okay. Now I'm just changing the value so that you understand it. Right? Now this is hard coded. Hard coded value. Now what we are trying to do is we are trying to remove the hard coded value and replace it with the parameter value. So both are do. D O E do do. In the fast in a hard coded fashion, I wanna parameterize in such a way that whatever the value is in the spreadsheet just fill it up with that value okay now how do i do that i'm gonna take this off and data all data the data data. Data test cases in test tc data that's my hash map variable right you, you understand carefully Liz, uh, if you get any doubts ask me right away because this is very important tc data is a hash map value which holds my test case data that's why i'm calling it tc data it holds my entire test case data and hash map has a function get i'm gonna call this and pass the key the key i'm passing here is whatever the key i am i'm right and this is gonna fetch me tc data dot get key is gonna fetch me the actual value of the particular key and the actual value of this particular key is this guy so that's it this will be filled filled up with low so now you understand how the whole parameterization mechanism works now let's try and see okay now this is not hard coded anymore it is parameterized so what is hard coded is the rest of the um, value so let's try one and one by one and see this is param okay okay so now it's a debug time so whatever we have coded so far whether it's working or not let's give it a try okay so let's see uh, uh, i will end it in five minutes okay so did it work did it enter from the data pool or did it yes. enter from it works yes it works. okay but some people are still you know they are still doubtful whether it is taking from here or somewhere else so just to be uh i mean just to be clear we will enter some random random data and see if it actually is entering taking the values from data spreadsheet or not also tell tell me some values some first name last name randomly say that again okay so my name only okay so last name why okay so now let's see if it is able to enter these values so if it enters that means our code is working so that we can put all the values in here instead of here then we'll call it a night probably that we'll do it in next class okay so let's see how this works
okay so it works so it's whatever values we are entering in the data pool it's exactly which okay all right so so far okay even the uh, console logs will also show the same thing whatever data which is entered from the data pool so that's good that means our uh, data driven the whole concept is called data driven testing because we are driving the data from the spreadsheet or data pool so which is called data driven so now what we have to do is just go to the register details and get all the data from the spreadsheet instead of hot coded way that's our next step so i am going to do for some and give you the rest as a homework okay so that you can do it all right so i'll just do for these two sections all right so now tell me if i want to enter uh, the phone number here so where what should i enter where should i enter this one right yeah, you can call phone number, phone, whatever it is. So I'm going to take this control X and put it here. Okay. So if you want to change it, you can change it. It's up to you. Now you can change just one time and have it applied many times. So that's a uh, advantage. Okay. Now I have to call it from there. So DC data. Uh, you can copy paste this but uh in in the beginning i would recommend just do it okay. and uh, this has to be exactly matching otherwise if you put capital p it won't work exactly it has to be similar now it is not hot code anymore okay now same thing for email okay so i don't have to mention text box text back every time in here right that will be too lengthy so just put the key as uh, what uh, just the value that you're entering just this is just for your understanding purpose if you want to say email or email address that's up to you but i'll keep it short so that it will not occupy more space okay so i want to enter this or anything that's up to you so just expand this so let's enter some dummy a at you know because it's anyway dummy okay. okay so now whatever is there it will enter here let's see data dot get and that is called email okay okay so let's do this guys and then uh, i will give this as homework because it's very easy i'll share this with you too the data pool so that you can update and uh, let me know if you encounter any issues so beforehand i'll tell you instructions exactly uh, how you have to set up this data driven testing okay address one let's have this here and city state postal okay so I'll just enter. Okay, do not enter any spaces here like this. This will also call cause problem. Okay, so for now, okay, address one okay, main street city uh, New York state. okay so let's have these replaced with this now i'm gonna copy paste this okay so uh what you have to do is there anything else
you have to replace these values right so the phone is repeated i didn't replace it okay so this is city postal okay so yeah. let's have uh, let's try and run this code postal code so just remember uh, if c is capital you have to mention exactly that's why i uh, suggest you to copy this instead of typing because you might make mistakes okay so till here i will stop but i will run and explain you how to set this up because uh, what you are gonna do is you are gonna parameterize these four four guys drop down username for this thing okay right now it is hard coded uh so let's try and execute and see okay okay so it is coming from data pool because the the values are changed so you can easily figure out okay that was fast so right now these are the values that are exactly coming from this right so that is working okay so what you have to do in order to de uh, date uh, uh, what do you call data drive your test and parameters your test you have to first uh, get this apache poi okay now second thing is you have to add this to your project like this okay so i added all of this just add external jars and you will unzip it and get these right so just put them in the lips just dump them over and there will be one two three four five six files like this just oh, add them okay i already added them so i'm not going to. so it will be like this all right then apply and okay just as usual then i'll anyway share these utils okay and uh, uh, you will get the latest zip in the email uh, as an attachment and you will put these utils and you will get as usual and you will get the latest code for register page exactly like this now you go there and do exactly similar way i will also send this file and all you have to do is just add four more uh columns what are those what are those columns country these guys right four columns enter the values the values are your choice you can enter whatever you want to and then replace these by these lines all right just exactly the way i did it and run it that's it okay so you have to do the setup and then update your data pool and then update the code and run it so that's your homework everybody understood yes Sangam. but uh, i have one question yeah you should go ahead. yeah when, when i whenever i run um, whenever i run in there so um, i don't know that my project is not fulfilled why uh, I don't understand. Like uh, you put uh, the names, everything, right? So mm -hmm. when when I run, it it goes all the blanks. It it run, but it go all the blanks. Okay. Uh, you have to show because what you are explaining is very vague. I don't understand. So can you share because the test? Uh, I'm going to share the the class is done. So that's sure. good. You mentioned this at the end of the class. Otherwise, we will be wasting time in the beginning of the class. Okay. Okay. So, I have a question. Okay. Ramesh or somebody else? Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, yes, go Yes, go back to the your util, Excel util. How did you set up that one? Excel utils are pre-written. Don't worry. I I just explained you right the whole. Mm -hmm. So Excel utils is the util which is used to read the data from Excel spreadsheet, like the name suggests. The utilities for the excel okay so i have used i did not do anything i just use the apache poi jars of functions that are available all the functions that are available in this jar the jar downloaded are these hss sub sheet hss workbook hss and then i have used bunch of file related classes file input stream files and read the whole data okay 
all you need to understand is how to use this because by definition utils are supposed to be used and you must know how to use them oh don't worry if you don't understand the definition of it now how did i use it how did you use this function wherever i need to parameterize my data i use this in this way because i know i just need to know what is the function name where this function is in which class what is the arguments that this function is taking and what is the return type these four things are must in order to use any function right now i already know how do i know because i just used it if once you use it you would know how to use it now how do they use it i call this excel utils that is a class name all right and there is a static function called get test data xls i explained the one explained for and that function takes four parameters what are those the file path itself because file path needs to be known otherwise it doesn't know where the file is and then the path the sheet then okay the row number for the header that is starting from 0 test case number which is 1 and bingo read read the whole data however many columns it has it might have 100 columns or 1000 columns it doesn't read the whole data and it gives me a hash map of function type okay uh, somebody mute yourself somebody Okay. So this returns me hash map. Now once I get hash map, it's easier to get individual values because hash map has get function. If I pass the header, it will return me the value. If I pass the key of the header, it will return me the test case value. Simple as that. For example, if I call first name, if I pass first name, it will actually return me what? It will return me this, right? Now that's how you know. Now. did that answer your question utils you know the function name that's it you call it and use it okay yes, so like, like uh, i have it you just call the excel and you know in in the first you just mention the excel and then it calls from the data from the excel so i got that right. concept but Like I was confusing about when you set up the Excel util, like how you were set up in that one. That's why I was thinking. No, like, this is not a setup. Okay, there are bunch of utils. Okay, I'm not going into this. So Excel yeah. utils, what 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 I'm trying to achieve here? I want to call the data from Excel, right? I have this data. This is my test. Yeah, yeah. Data. I, I got it. That call. Right now, this is how you understand. What is I, I want? That. I want to read a Excel spreadsheet. Yeah. now i think okay there should be some external third party jar what it is i googled it okay now there is a apache poi i downloaded it and extracted it and put all the values all those jar files in my regular lib folder right that is in drivers libs right now this is a standard procedure this is what you have to follow and this is how you have to think also what do i want to achieve how do i want to achieve okay now what do i want to achieve is i want to read the excel spreadsheet data now how do i want to achieve i want to know what is a jar file now i know because i know poi bin is a jar file i downloaded it and the rest of this procedure says how to set it up the setup is easy that's what i told you now you go to your project and add these jars because jars has those class files the definitions of them okay so i just added them here you must add this to build path now i after i added i have to write the code for this how to read the data now i know the jar files uh, has bunch of classes bunch of classes have related java files okay the source code you can look at it and the source code says this this uh, there are bunch of classes called hss of sheet hss of workbook hss of pro because those classes have functions and using those classes i just created those variables and pass the file path and file file has the workbook this is the whole file excel file has the excel workbook excel workbook has excel sheet excel sheet has excel rows right excel rows has excel cells that is the individual i mean that's the whole hierarchy that's you have to understand this 
even if you do not understand that is fine because by the way now i have to call this yeah, yeah. for util if you uh, go, go down go okay. down yeah so here is okay wait go up <laughs> go little you mentioned the name uh for util it is not the uh, util one excel util one that one right yeah so this all i'm doing is i'm passing the actual workbook name, the name. that's the name you just yeah, yeah. so hss is that's the name you put it right okay For so it. you have you have you want to understand the whole excel excel util yeah, yeah i'm just i'm title okay yeah. okay so uh, what is your name uh oh, faisal faisal okay faisal I am yeah. going to send this code to you, including Excel utils. You go over it and try and understand yourself and come back to me with the questions. That way it's easier. Now, okay. even if you do not understand 100%, it is fine because nobody is going to ask you the details of it, how you are going to read it. You just have to understand overall because the code is already written. Now, if you are expert of Java, you can understand and write it from yours. Uh, I mean, from the scratch without uh, uh looking at it that is good but ultimately as automation tester you have to understand how to use it okay this is a function and i just need to use it where i need to use it wherever i need to replace the hard coded values with the data pool values that's all now i just call the function pass the appropriate parameters and created the bunch of variables and call the functions that's it Okay, so it's gonna get more complex than this because we are gonna get more utils. Like if I wanna use date utils, I'm gonna create one. I can create and show you from the beginning, but it will take a lot of time, trust me. So some utils I will show you from the beginning. Like if I want to uh, create a bunch of dates and play with them. Like if I have today, today's date, I wanna get days after one month or something or after one year. So these these date utils we can do it by using Joda Joda jar or other calendar jar or calendar classes or something. Okay, so that I will show you from the beginning. For the time being, if you are interested, just read it over. Okay, I am going to send it. For the people who are not interested, that is fine too because you don't need to know everything hundred percent. Okay, all we need to do is just know how to use it because by definition utils are supposed to be understood from the usage perspective okay that's why we call utils you need to understand this 100 percent okay if you say i don't understand uh, uh i only understand 10 90 percent that is not acceptable here for this code for the utils code even if you understand 10 percent that is acceptable okay is it understood yeah, yeah, got it. Okay, so again, I am going to send you the code every day. I am sending the latest code. Just look at it. If you are interested more, you can play with these utils. That's not a problem. Okay, but ultimately, you should be able to use it. Usage is more important. Utils are supposed to be used. Okay, there will be more utils. Okay, some utils I am going to tell you from the sketch if the time permits because time is very crucial we are already past like 40 minutes i'm supposed to end the class at nine o'clock right it's 9 48. so that's all for tonight uh, if you have any more questions shoot or we'll call it now some uh, some will over me no <laughs> so, sorry what is that question uh my question is whenever i run this is not feeling all things just, okay, just come. Okay, okay. okay so let's have a look at your code uh sorry i forgot about your question okay so can you share your screen because okay other people can leave because the class is done okay i'm gonna make ramesh present because ramesh was asking from the long time okay uh everybody good night so class is done it's gonna take little time because ramesh machine is little
So I'm going to bend you down. Oh my God. Sangam, are you listening to me? Hello? Sangam, are you listening to me?
Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, right now. So, okay, so my problem. Okay, uh, you, you can see me. Yeah, you can see my screen, right? Yeah, yeah, you can see. Okay, yeah, whenever so like having that. some issue in the middle, uh, let's see. Click on the link in the exception. What is the link? Uh, yeah, whenever I like uh, run over here, okay. so no, 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 you don't run the registration page. I told you, right? You have to run the test case, that's a problem. So, go yeah, to this. Now uh, go to the test case. That is the only executable. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's supposed to launch. Okay, that's working fine. So let's see. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you see this is a blank. Whenever you run. Oh, okay. It is not entering the values. Okay, I got you. Okay, now yeah. go back to Eclipse. Let's see the problem there. Okay. okay. So go go to the Eclipse now. Okay. So let's just expand this console so that I can see everything. Uh, okay. The exception. Exception. No, 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 no. Just right click. Uh, just double click on the console. The console is visible, right? Console. Just double click on it. It will expand. Right, right side. Right side. There is a console button, right? Console. No, no, right side, right side, all the way, right. Come to the right. Top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just double click on it. Do you see console? Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw it. Okay, double click so that I can see the whole exception. Uh huh. Okay, great. Okay, okay. Now you click on uh, uh, the last link. Click on the last link. Right yeah. here. Yeah. Click on it. Yes. Let's see where this exception is occurring. Obviously, the first line. Okay, right here it came. Okay, that's the first line you are entering into registration details. Okay, now you click on the last but one link. Last but one. L last was in console. Last. What is the link in the last but one in the console? From the uh, end. What is the second link? From the end. From the bottom. Uh, this is a register page. Uh... No, 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 in the console, the red color, red color thing. Uh, oh. Click on the last but uh, last but one. The yeah, you the... before the link. Yes. Yeah. You mean the, yeah, last the of the yeah. No, no, click on the second one from the bottom. Second one. Okay, second one. Yes. Yeah, I want to see where this. That is a hierarchy, right? You have to keep clicking. Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, go there. Go there. Click on it. Go to the third one. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Where it is taking? You have to click on it. It is not opening anything. Yeah, now wait. Now you are entering the first name, right? Okay. Yes. Now, element info is values, input contains name, so and so first name. Okay. So just can you expand this? Expand this console completely. Okay. So that I can see the whole thing. No, 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 not like that. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Okay, so the export says value input so and so. Now, what is the exception? Exception says invalid selector exception. Okay, if you read the line that from the top, yes. the blue one, blue line from the top, this, this one, invalid selector on create an element with the expect uh, this export. Okay, so the export is the problem. That's why it is not able to enter anything. Oh, okay. understand, right? If yeah, it is yeah. able to, if it, it is able to locate that element, there is no problem. It will enter, but it is not able to locate. So let's uh -huh. have a look at this. Something wrong in the X path. Okay, let's let's look at it. Input con. Ah, okay. Now you see constant. You see, it contains. Okay, go back to the code. I got the problem. Go back to the code. We will fix it. Okay. Okay, go to the code. No, 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 just click on double click on the console. That will. He, uh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Okay, now click on the yeah. text box underscore first name thing. Click on it. 
click on it okay control click, click the first one there is a yeah link called text box underscore first name just control click it. Is it control key, text box control, right control, uh, control, press the control and click on it. yeah yeah control click. it will take you to the x path you got it right so control control, control yeah press karo yeah control yeah. press karo then click karo mm -hmm. no you are not doing it okay that's fine okay in the page objects go to the registration details in the page objects click on the registration page details dot page objects not page post page objects okay. yeah it's a export problem registration details the register object register object ah, click on the register object. object wait a second a registration detail yeah yeah not there register object ah register object or something yeah yeah click on it double click double click it's not opening anything ah okay now see there is a constant right yeah. here here there is a constant that's wrong that is wrong it has to be contains i told you right here we have multiple this is that has to be okay. contains not constant contains means partial match i told you right so you have made a mistake like throughout that's okay. why it is not able to contain yeah that and bracket contains then bracket bracket okay Okay. Now that is correct for the first one. Do the same thing for all. Everything is wrong. Uh, I don't know whether you typed it. Did you type it okay. or did you copy it? Because if you take my file from my project, it should be right. Yeah. That means you have actually typed it with hand, and that. Yeah, I, I typed in my hand. Okay. Okay. Now, what you're gonna do, Ramesh? Go yes. to all the page objects related classes and just verify whether it is same naming convention or not. Contains and bracket. I think you are missing everywhere. Contains and bracket. Okay, I'm gonna do and that. And bracket. Okay. Yes. Later, I'm gonna do that. So, uh, okay. Next, next one. Uh, Ramesh, just try and run. Now it has to at least enter first name, last name. If it works, that means you have to correct all of them. Okay, just run, run the test case again. Now you got the point, right? That is yes. a mistake. Now you run the execute test case. Uh, just save it. Save it before running. Save, save. Save it and run. Okay. Now go to the test case and run it. It should at least enter the first two fields. That means it, the fix is working, and you will correct the rest. Oh yes, yes, yes. I got it. Okay, perfect. That means the export is a problem. You have made a mistake like thousand times. You have to correct all of those. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right. So, okay. so okay. all okay, can... you have to do is go to each and every page object. Just go to the find flight object and see if you have made the same mistake. That's okay uh, because first time you you yeah, might make mistake, but yeah, five. Just okay. click and see. Uh, flight finder contains. Okay, contains, this is correct. Okay. Yeah, it has to be like this. So you made a mistake in that particular class only. Register object. So just correct okay. them. And verify okay. them, and it will work fine. So no issue. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Thank you. Okay, sure. Okay. Any more questions, Ramesh or others? Uh, uh, no, not now. Not now. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank so you. Then yeah. Good night to all, and we'll meet in the next class. Okay.